Yo, 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 what is up guys, it's your boy Toskins here and today we're back with another car extra facing online video. Now sit tight, relax, drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and share this video because in this car extra facing video, I'm going to be showing you three tips to instantly get better at car extra facing online and this is going to be for mostly new players. So tip number one, if you're spinning out a lot or you're not getting enough angle, you need to adjust your Ackerman. So, for example, if you go into an online lobby like this, and you just can't seem to keep your car from spinning out, it's more than likely your Ackerman angle. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of what that'll look like if your Ackerman's too high. So if your Ackerman's too high, you're probably going to a corner and you just instantly spin out, you know what I'm saying, or like, you're like drifting everything's going good and then you know your car is just kind of like uncontrollable it's all over the place it spins out super easy that's not good you know what i'm saying you don't want your car to be spinning out around corners and feel like it can't hold a line so if this is happening to you what you need to do is lower this all the way down to like 30 percent. i would just start at 30 percent and then like if you're still spinning lower it by five percent and you should be good but if you want to stop spinning out all you have to do is go into your settings and lower your acumen okay um so it's going to be the same thing if you're not getting enough angle if you're not getting enough angle you want to raise your acumen but if you're getting too much angle then you want to go ahead and lower it to a point that's like comfortable for you so your car doesn't spin out like compare that drifting to how the drifting was with like 80 percent like with 30% the car is way smoother, 80% because this car is not built for high Ackerman, you can drift on high Ackerman, but this car isn't built for high Ackerman, so it's like really twitchy, and it feels like it just wants to spin, like it gets a little too much angle, see that right there, it's really hard to do, so that's tip number one, tip number one is adjust your Ackerman angles so that you can <clears throat> drift better tip i'm gonna give you guys is something in your controller settings i'm pretty sure a lot of people don't even realize this but depending on this controller setting it's going to determine like how much you like turn and stuff so i go to my controller settings and i put it on if i put my prediction at one or actually no 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 i keep my prediction at two but if i put my stabilization at two i don't know what it's set to when you like first get the game but you don't want to have your stabilization too high because stabilization it'll make you spin. i think stabilization is the, the setting that makes you spin like really really fast for tighter controls yeah yeah, yeah. Or actually wait what what setting was it there's one setting in here that makes you spin I think it might be this i think it might be this so when i first got this update it was like set up like this so my prediction was at one and my stabilization was at like two or something like that which you don't want to have your settings like that because it's going to make your car feel really weird to drive and if you want your car to feel like more natural like how it did before the update came you just want to literally put this at like maybe two and then put this at like 1.2 that's literally all you need you don't need to put it that high if you put it like too high your car will feel weird and if your settings are already like how i had it set up and you change it to this you're gonna see a huge difference in the car all right so the next thing is going to be your gearing okay so i'm going to show you guys how to fix your gearing if your gearing is too short and i'm going to show you how to fix your gearing if your gearing is too long so i'm going to show you guys an example of what very very short gears look like and how to fix it okay so if you have really short gears then that means you're flying through all your gears like really really quick so for example like each gear doesn't even have like really any power like it's i shouldn't be in fourth gear right here like you know what i'm saying if your gears are too short like this this is what you want to do okay if you feel like you're just going straight to sixth gear every time what you want to do is you want to adjust your transmission by turning down the final drive Turn down the final drive on your transmission until you feel like it's at a spot that's low enough to where you have a gear. See, like now you can hear the power build up and it's not just like straight RPM. 
and then third gear doesn't hit that hard so i want to turn it up a little bit i'll put it at like 380 but yeah basically if your gears are too short you want to move your final drive this way if your gears are too long you want to move your final drive this way until they feel uh the way they should feel so yeah man those are just three quick tips to help you get better at car extra racing if you guys want more quick tip videos let me know down below in the comment section but with that being said this has been your boy ty skates playing car extra racing online and today i showed you guys three simple tips to instantly get better at car extra racing online and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace